Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. Leading off, Speedy Mastretta implements a system to prevent player occlusions. Now, you can see objects dither via shader that the wall would normally obstruct. Wall Lobber reveals Pro Gymnast Game. Sign up and test out the alpha at progymnastgame.com. Tiani Pixel displays how you can hop against the tide in this 2D Unity title. Jadia shows off some amazing level design and world creation. Nick Carver is working on some amazing waterfall effects for his game, Waycaster. Vaidin compares the two-year progress of Recompile from its early prototype stage to what it looks like now. Great work. Ramen Profitable Games has some amazing VR firing turret mechanics on display. I, I don't even know what's happening here, but I love it. Backspace Boken has added some brand new tile sets and enemy types. Wenzi created a phenomenal tentacle simulation, and it only took 387 tries to get this working procedurally and in real time. Eti is truly becoming one of the most anticipated games to be released on Unity. If we had half an hour, we would just show this. Phenomenal work. J'ai quelque chose pour toi. Ouais, je sais, c'est niaiseux des cadeaux de fête, là, on a plus dix ans, mais... Mais je pense que tu vas l'aimer. C'est un vrai. Je l'ai trouvé dans une vente de garage sur Castelnau. Le gars m'a dit qu'il fonctionnait encore, mais... On ferait mieux de l'essayer. Allez, vas-y. À toi l'honneur. Vertex Breakers reveals the Racer, a futuristic hover bike racer meant for the Oculus Rift. Check it out on Steam. This was the best of Made with Unity. Be sure to hashtag Made with Unity, and we will do our best to share your creation with the entire game dev world. We are Game Dev HQ, and we are out of here. See you next week.